Okay, Darren. Challenge accepted. Only there's one big problem. I have not grown zucchini this year yet. I can still plant in January where I live, um, but um, I just need to correct you on a couple of things. And also in the spirit of Shed Wars, even though I haven't grown anything to weigh, um, I'm going to offer some hot tips on zucchini and even throw in for your benefit, Darren, some uh, gratuitous Mrs. Bobbitt shots. So, zucchini were developed from uh, marrow. They're all part of the same family. And so your thing about, uh, well, you can't show a squash, well, it is a squash in its own way. So we'll just correct you on that one. Um, and the thing about the largest, heaviest zucchini, eh, that is problematic in itself because as John from Will It Grow will tell you, um, smaller is better. Um, anyway, I'm going to run out of time shortly, um, but I've got some tips coming up. So in the spirit of Shed Wars, for people that want to grow zucchini, they're super easy and uh, uh, well worth the effort because they are so productive. Um, what else can I tell you? Um, Let's think about uh, problems you can have with them. Uh, they can get a mildew, but that's easily treated with a teaspoon of bicarb in uh, half a litre or a litre of water and spray it on the leaves. And also avoid watering from above and try to flood irrigate. Um, the tips are coming up shortly and I will... Um, add to those uh, as, uh, as I think of it. Anyway, delicious food and all the better when it's homegrown. So if you're not sure, just get out there and grow something. Tip one, prepare your soil with well-rotted manure. They're heavy feeders. They like good, rich soil. You can plant in starter pots in your windowsill or so direct. Give them plenty of water two to three times a week but ground water, don't overhead water. You might have to hand pollinate and the important bit is at five weeks um, check them. They grow about an inch a day uh, and harvest it between five and eight inches in size anything longer than that and they start to become bitter and that can cause toxic squash syndrome which is uh, a bit of a gut ache and um, that can lead to being a pain in the ass. pardon the language. Anyway, happy Shed Wars everyone, stay safe.